All right, we are good and ready. Kids, take one good word of advice from me for the beginning of this episode. Stay hydrated. I don't know how many times I've done LPs where I don't have like a cold, not even a cold drink, just a drink standard on standby for when my throat gets particularly parched when I want to do longer sessions in the day. Like take today, for example, I'm going all the way, I'm going to attempt to get all the way finished, uh, all the way done with uh, Summer Forest. That's going to be my session. So I hope I can keep my enthusiasm up for a couple more parts. Anyways, hello everyone, Ragnamuna here. Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. Last time we took on Hunter in a speedway, kicked his ass, I guess. Uh, we speed ran a level for a shiny shell talisman, and we got... Well, all the gems and orbs we could find over in the hub world. Today, Idle Springs. And maybe another level if I'm feeling frisky enough. But let's get started. Oh, and now I'll actually watch intros, because this one's pretty funny. Look out! The Tiki's from Battle for Bikini Bottom are rebelling! Oh my god. Is that a take on... Just imagine, today we would probably take see that as a take on body pillow culture. Oh my god. We'll be back down here, so I'm not going to worry too much about the gems around here. But if we do come down, I'll... Screw it, I am going to care about them. Give me the gems now so I don't have to come back. There's something around here. Aha, there you are. I'm going to go here. Get all these gems in here. Very nice. Okay, guys, it's time. He's going to ask us to do a puzzle. I'm not even going to talk to him. But look, it's Baby's first Zelda puzzle. I thought I was done with light puzzles. We. Wow, Spyro, you did it. I mean, I knew you could do it. No. <laughs> yeah, I bet, you, I bet you could, pal. But there we go. That That's done. But he didn't open the shiny treasure chest. I want what's in that chest, damn it. And you're gonna give it to me. I will chase you down if I have to. No one denies Spyro of his treasure. Nobody! Anyone that does, gets the flame. Oh, hey, look, a worker in trouble. And is that... Excuse me. I don't care about you. Is that... Yes. Take that. Nobody assaults these crewmen with hot mallows. Hot toasty mallows, actually. Mmm, marshmallows. Toasted marshmallows are good on a campfire. Anyways, we have to talk to this guy. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. The idol is a picky eater. I hate this challenge. Rotate your camera and you'll actually be able to see out of the corner of your eye what fish are coming up. I missed. Wait until they're at about at the middle of your screen, and you should be fine. Do not flame him any redfish. And you can see that the fish are on kind of like a pattern for jumping up, so it's not just random. Look at all the redfish that are just, you know, saying, pick me, pick me, eat me, eat me. No thanks. Blue and golds only. So, uh, how was everybody's Thanksgiving? I started all these recordings on the day, on a couple days after Thanksgiving. I believe, yeah, about a week after Thanksgiving. We had our we had our dinner one day early because of uh, our our wonderful chef. My mother had to work on that on that Thanksgiving day, so it was it was good. We got family together and had a grand old food. Got nice and stuffed. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the College Stones for your final challenge. Alrighty. I wonder if he's going to get there if all the doors are locked, though. Metal shields are favorites. So speedrunners are, speedrunners are able to, like, do the double jump glitch. 
And like, I'm gonna try. Nah, I, I'm not gonna be able to do it, but they're able to, they're able to literally bounce off this bug, barrier break, all the way up to the top, to like, the, the tippy top of this and just speed run through. It is a spectacle, let me tell ya. It is awesome to see one pulled off properly. Drop him! Assaulting him. They're, these workers are getting assaulted by toasty hot marshmallows, shish kebabs, and roasted weenies. I just want you guys to know this. Oh, and uh, their natural strength, too. Don't beat yourself up. It's not that bad. Take that. There's not even that many enemies here. I think there's maybe 11 total. Yeah, let's just get all these gems, because we are all gemaholics in the world. Especially if you played Dissidia, Opera Omnia. That, that place is pretty much Gems R Us. Because you need gems to get the good characters. I can't wait for Lilliset to drop tonight. It's gonna be fun, as I don't have a local library to volunteer at anymore while I upload these parts, so... Now I gotta find something to do while they're uploading. Well, there's a cure for there's a cure for every ailment, and for mine, it's going to be my home ga my home gaming consoles playing Gran Turismo 2, or you know, a Final Fantasy game on my 360. Probably 13. Take that. Apologies for having the map open at all times, but. I find it really useful to just know where you are on a level at all times. Information... Let me let me tell you some words of wisdom. The most important weapon in the world. It is not... It is not a sword. It is not a gun. It is knowledge. You know the right thing? You can make millions. Alright. Make sure that's opened up. Gooders! I'm gonna take a trip real quick. I'm gonna take a trip real quick and ignore everything. Because I don't want to help him out yet. Get you, get you. You can tell I'm trying to optimize my routes. Yeah, it's kind of cool that you can run across the tops of this level. Pretty nicely, if I do say so myself. There we go. That's the beauty of the just spiral level design. It's not just, you know, platform from one to the next. You kind of get to find your way at times, and I'll be honest, getting lost is a pretty fun experience in this game. I think I remember trying to actually glide to the top of that thing. I don't believe it is possible. But it shortcuts you back around. Now I find out if I can actually uh, get down. Okay, I can. Good. I want to come down here. Ooga ooga. What is this? Courage? Excuse me. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get my posse. Dance, 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 dance. I'll stop singing. And thunderstorm. Look at that. The hula girl's rain dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Now see, this game is rated A. This game is rated E for everyone, but I just want to go on record saying she was literally shackled to that rock. She was literally shackled to that rock. Make sure we got all the treasure around here. Check those insides. You never know where gems are going to hide. Yeah, I don't want to be I don't want to have to come back up on this path, which is why I'm making sure to get all the gems as I go. Pick up those.
And we should get some over here. Yep. I just want to bear in mind, I have not played this game in years. Like, literal years. I haven't picked up and played this game. I did try to LP it once before, but I wasn't really good at the commentary thing back then. Okay, so we hit that. I think it's that. That. I want to say this. Nope. If you, if you jump on these stones in the correct order. This. This one. Moon. And then... It's open! Treasure! Mine! Nice job, Spyro! You're pretty smart for a dragon. Give me the treasure! I, uh, an orb! Come on, I want the gold! Where's the gold? I was promised gold and jewels! No! <laughs> I think they reuse this asset, though, in later games. Yeah, I, th I believe that asset gets reused in uh, Spyro 3 for the... What was it? The uh, There should be gems around here now. There are, good. Yeah, there's gems around here. Alright. Let's see. There should be... There's some over there that I missed. There's that one. We should have two left. 22 left. Man, I'm slacking. Oh, there's some up there. Yep, they're all up there. Sparks, be a man! Thank you. And that's the level. Let's go get a talisman and book it. How long did that take? Oh, not too bad of a time. 11 minutes. But yeah, because these episode because I'm back on my shittier internet connection, I'm gonna try to keep these episodes a little bit shorter, if at all possible. One level sh one level apart should suffice. To aim the camera left or right. I don't care, Zoe. I know how to aim the camera with the L triggers. I believe in the uh, Reignited trilogy too. You get to actually use the analog stick to aim the camera, which is a lot nicer. Spyro, you're pretty tough. That's right. If you ever want a permanent job? We've got a place for you here. But a man, I wish I could land a permanent job. I don't even have a job, job. That's how sad my life is. <sighs> oh well. I'm happy taking care of my folks. Yeah, a little bit of sad humor for you. Not everyone can land employment, I'm afraid. But God knows I've tried. Anyways, on to lighter notes. A nice big campfire. We're gonna get some, uh... Roasted mallows and... <laughs> she just joins the fire. Ah, good old ASMR. So, I believe uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Next time we meet, Colossus. This is Ragnamune signing out. Guys, have a great night. Thank you for watching. It's snowing out, so drive safe. See you later. Take it easy.